Okay, so one of the biggest things that I did when I got a bike, a sports bike, was to first get a good helmet. So the first choice that my friends recommended and I could get off was an empty helmet. So as you see, this is the helmet I have. And it's kind of faded, but then, yeah, it is a helmet. And um, I have some few stickers on it. So the number one thing that com comes in your mind when you're trying to do a, you know, service of your helmet is to clean it. You can see that it's quite dirty at the sides over here. It gets really messy. And then the most spots that get dirty are over here in the where the air goes in. A few spots over here in the front. Then obviously at the it's a back air vent. So basically um, to take off the helmet apart, first of all you need to get um, let me just switch the camera to my left hand. Okay, so now you gotta hold the helmet well and then squeeze the sack out. I'm not sure what it is called. It's like a filter that takes out the insects from getting inside your helmet. So like that off. Okay, now that comes off with two clips on the side. So the clips go into this tiny gap over there. There's a nail over there. And then there's a small thing over there. So those two come off. And the next thing you gotta do is pull this guy off. These two come off at the same time. So let's just focus on removing one at a time. So go in from this angle where you can see these guys. These guys just put them outside the buckles. And then you, there'll be a clip over here. It's kind of dark, I'm so sorry. So there's a clip over here. Just clip it out. You see the red clip over there? So most of the empty helmets have the same system. Pretty sure some helmets which have the label that says it can be removed have the same clip system. Okay, now the next second clip would be this is the first clip, all right? Second clip is exactly over there. See the red clip over there? Now that's off too. And the next one is basically over here. It just, it just comes up automatically. So you have three clips total. One over here, one over, one over here, one over there, and one over there, all right? Now if these three clips are off, you will have pretty much this guy coming out. There's this tiny little same uh, nail kind of a thing over there too that comes off, see? I can, maybe I can show you this one, see? You see that clip over there? It's not actually a clip, it's just a screw and a plastic thing. Same thing uh, is holding back the front thing over here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's over here exactly. Now, same procedure follows for this side. So we just split it. Let's turn the camera again. Then clip. One more click. And then the next clip automatically comes out when you have this guy coming out. Like, just wait for the buckle. The buckle keeps getting in the way, so push it inside. And then... Just click it out, just give it a bit stress for push, and then there you go. You have three of them out. Ignore this one, this is not this from the buckle, so ignore that red. So there's three. One, two, and a three. Now same thing, pull it off and it comes off. Now the next one, you can take off the um, head gear thing also. So this is quite tricky, I mean, I find it tricky at times though. So you gotta take off these two buckles, clippy, uh, whatever, clip-on thingies. And then you just pull it out. Okay, now before you pull it out, it gets stuck at these two spots. You see over there and over there. Now to get these guys out, you just very simple clip thingy going on over here. You just pull it out like this. It's gonna easily come out. Okay, do not panic. I'll, I'll make a video on how to put it back together. So so now that your helmet is pretty much um, just thermal call and uh, the clips and you can't wash these though. You can replace them if you go to empty, but then you can't wash these. Now you can take your visor off too, so that's like very easy. You pull this uh, tab down, you need both of your hands to do this, so you need to pull the tab down and then you need to like tilt it outward, put it at full full max like on the top side, put the clip down, hold it and then pull it out. It just comes off like that. And then the next side, just be careful, do not put too much stress onto your, um, what do you say, visor. Just pull the clip down, pull one side out and the next side just comes off, snappy snappy. Now you can wash all of this with soap powder, but do not directly rub the soap powder onto it. Uh, soak it in uh, soapy water for like, um, I guess, an hour, um, half an hour. So I'll be doing that, and after that I'll come back and make a video on how to put this together. I'll continue the video. So till then, you guys gotta wait. Thank you.
thing you need to do yeah. you need to like visually inspect everything is okay like do not heat or dry them with a the hair dryer uh, last time i had a steel bird and it seemingly got destroyed just because i hair dried it the sponge got melted from inside and i couldn't wear it because it was so pokey so installing the same thing back is exactly the reverse of how you put it uh, took it out so to begin with you need to take the first um, the head sweat absorbent shock absorbent every absorbent little thing and squeeze in these knobs exactly under the clips okay pretty simple just pull, push the plastic all the way in excuse my awkward camera angle it's quite hard to hold it together now the same goes for the other clips clip it in you see there's still dirt over there so i'm gonna clean it later on with the cloth preferably a microfiber dip it in water and then just clean it up okay the reason one of the reasons why i recommend washing your helmet regularly not the helmet the interior especially because um, sweat and dirt can actually cause infections and you get a lot of dandruff and if people are riding with your helmet other people it's very much recommended that you wash your helmet on a regular basis at least once a week okay so that that clip goes in and then this clip just slides into the other one just wait for the click there you go you got the click now the next one is okay again a bit tricky but then follow the same order since i took the okay now figuring out which is left which is right is just a matter of like using a common sense so this 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 knob thingy goes at the end where this small notch is there and then this guy goes over there you see that small reflective thing over there right over here this thing is supposed to lock over there so now <laughs> i have to put my gopro inside my mouth <laughs> to literally get this shot <laughs> So hold on. So there you go. You know that it's fit in when you have that perfectly cool. um edge going around it and just slug it in if you can't if you don't feel like something's off so i noted that you have to put in the back side first and then the front i forgot about that oh damn okay so again the same thing i'll follow i put in the back side notch aligned with the thing inside okay it's roughly over there okay can you see that silver thing over there right over here that that tiny little thing this align it again with that slide it in all right good to go now we'll take out the rubber padding from the sides and then push it in all the way and same goes for the front it just clicks in right if you put the uh, other side properly now the next step is going to be pulling out the uh, cufflinks or the buckle through the hole so she said okay we pull it out and then <laughs> we pull out the other one too Now this one is not that tricky but if you really look in from the front of the helmet it helps a lot to get the better view. So now there's one that goes at the end over here. First clip and this one. So follow the order that's with difficulty the difficult one goes in first. So we clip that in. That's one. So there are three uh, clips like that. That's two. And then that's three. There you go, three clips in. It may differ a bit depending on the model, but I'm pretty sure it's universal for all the MT helmets. Maybe if you're watching uh, like this helmet video, I mean MT helmet video in particular to watch an, another helmet, just follow the procedures. The hooks and clips and buckles are almost the same on every helmet. At times they might just change the number of clips or the types of clip. So yeah, getting one buckle is pretty much simple. Then the rest just snaps on. Now place it like this. You can't clean, so you gotta use a cloth. Now that's done. Now next one piece is the chin piece. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Okay, there you go. The chin piece, and we need to put in the chin piece. The chin piece goes in the same way. You remember that small nail over there? Just slide it in, roughly squeeze it around, and find that spot. It will lock in when you know it's at the right spot. Then you just gotta squeeze this between the gap. over here 
This looks way more exhausting doing it with your left hand. <laughs> I swear, it'll take you less than this to re remove and put it back together. Do not consider this as a very stressful task. It just looks like that because I'm using one hand. If I had a cameraman, this would have been way more easier. Okay, so we just take out the rubber padding again because it gets in the way and stops it from getting further inside. All right, there you go. Now this guy didn't click in much, so you can see the difference right now. This guy didn't click in. So we gotta squeeze him front and back just to find that sweet spot. It's roughly at that spot, you know. This guy is like snug and in. This guy's a bit off, so we're gonna just take it off a bit. Find where the nail goes exactly in. Okay, it's a bit too front. So we'll pull it a bit back. Just squeeze it a bit back. And then just put it in together. Just taking a while. Okay, there you go. It's in now. See, it clicks in right over there. So now that's done, your helmet is pretty much clean and put on the visor, it's the same thing, okay. Now you gotta clean out these spots, there's a bit of dust here and there, you see that? So you gotta clean that off and then put in the visor exactly the same way you would put in, you took it out. So that is like, first you just keep it over there. Oh my god, I took it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so you just keep it on top, clip it right over there and then just press it in. Till you hear that click. The same goes for the other side. There you go. Now your helmet is pretty much clean and good for using. So right safe and this is Sandy Vlogs and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be continuing with this series like making videos and stuff. So till then um, I'm going to sign off for now. <laughs> okay bye.